Yo, what is up? What's going on with all you trout hunters out there? It's your boy, Dangerous Dave. And on today's episode, I came out to do a little bit of bass fishing. And I uh, I stopped by the levee over there by UOP guys. And it was just super, super flooded. As you guys know, if you guys are from Stockton or anywhere near Stockton, we had a really, really bad rain last night, which we needed, guys. And... Um, it was bad though i'm talking about they had a section of hammer lane closed down just trying to drive into my apartments guys i'm talking about it was it was the water was over the curbs it was uh yeah, pretty bad you know I, I drive a pretty small car so it wasn't easy for me to get into my apartments guys but that's enough talking guys let me show you guys what it happened so zilch not at the levee i decided to come over to American Legion Park once again and as soon as I walked up first thing I saw was uh there we are Boop! that bag of bait and then I look over here and I see that guy oh that oh man I can't find it all right there we are that guy right there's a dead catfish now I don't know if somebody caught him and just left him up here but if so that was wrong guys that's that's just that's messed up man you guys should have let that fish go let him swim for another day but i don't know man the water level is pretty high up maybe he swam up here trying to see covering a little brush and bushes and maybe he would got stuck up here just couldn't find his way but i find that pretty hard to believe because there's been times i've dropped fish and they know how to get back to that water but let's get back to my fishing mission today guys Oh, I just got a tap. He's got it. Oh, look at that one, baby. Mm, got him. There we go. There we go. Seems like a big one. Oh, he's running. Oh, that's a chunk, guys. Oh, my God. He's running on me. Try to keep him down. Trying to keep him down. Ooh, there we go. Come on, baby. Let's walk you this way, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Woo! That's right, baby. Look at that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Dangerous day for the win. Woo-hoo-hoo. Look at that one. Oh, my God. Man, I can't tell you guys enough, man. Beat those banks up, baby. Oh, my God. Wow. Woo. That's solid, baby. That's right. That's right. Almost fit the whole fist in the mouth. Ooh, let's put her down, get a size comparison. Look at that. That belly, baby. That's right. <laughs> See, I think I got the scale. Ah, don't fight me, Billy. Oh, eat you. Let's see, I'm thinking pushing almost three. Oh, I know what's in here. Oh, no, don't tell me it's in my trout bag. Well, well, well. 
I don't want to release you and then go and find my scale. But I don't think I got it here, Billy. Ow. I done forgot my scale guys but take a look at that chunk right there that beast of a bass get a right there for you guys that's a big one i'll tell you what compared to my tackle box it's a good three yeah i'd say good three almost four that's a chunk, baby. Let's get a picture for the gram real quick, guys. Bam, got him. Let's get one of you down like that there. All right, let's get you back there now. Let's go get a nice release on this one, guys. Too bad I didn't have my scale on me. Get another nice, beautiful look at that big bass. Woo. All right. Let's get you back there, baby. That's a freaking chunk, man. You don't catch these every day out here, guys. Big old bug eyes. Woo. Give them a kiss, y'all. All righty. Go ahead and get you swimming back there, baby. There we go. Right there on that Senko, baby. Right there on the Senko. Let's get back to it, y'all. All right. <laughs> One heck of a way to start off your day, man. Get back into fishing. Now, you guys know, man, I haven't been on the water in a good two weeks, man. Like a week and a half, two weeks. And first fish being that tank god man you gotta love it you gotta love it oh whoa check it out guys that's probably gonna disturb all the fish that are right here i don't know if this is gonna be a good thing or a bad thing guys huh all that garbage is pushing out yeah stinks too look at that big old disturbance I bet you have some striper that are gonna love this though. Hi. <laughs> What's up everybody? Hi. So sorry I only got that one fish for you guys, but as you guys can tell, that like pipe drain thing started just running a whole bunch of water out and kind of just messed up my fishing spot. And uh due to the high rain, the rest of the banks were super, super muddy. It was like I was sinking down to my ankles in it. I was not trying to do that. Besides, I was very content with that fish I caught. You know, for not being out fishing in about a week or two, and then like 10 casts into the second spot I pull up into, I just, I link into that tank, man. Oh my God, dude. When I set that hook, when I went to go set that hook, man, it was like setting that hook into a freaking brick wall. Say hi, say trout hunters. Trout hunters, baby. We hunt them down, y'all. But my food should be getting here pretty soon, guys, so. Before I close out this video, I want to give a shout out to my boys over at Creeker Custom Rods, man. Thanks for the nickname, Dangerous Dave, y'all. I love it. I'm sticking with it, and I'm going to stay running with it, guys. And uh, another shout out to my sponsor, Cardoza Lures. And uh, another shout out. <laughs> and another shout out to my boy Aaron over there at PAX, man. Keep it lit and stay safe, y'all. Till the next hunt, I'm out.